Hi there. <clears throat> okay. Hi. So, um, decided to work on this one that I sprayed yesterday. And, um, and so I did that to put the base coat on it, basically. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and blend some color in. So I thought I'd do something different. I don't usually use Kissing Booth, um, but I decided to go ahead and give it a go. So, um, here we are. So <clears throat> we are going to use Kissing Booth and Cake Batter by Debbie's Design Diaries. Hi, Brianna. Um, which is these two right here. And um, I went ahead and um, squirted them out onto a plate. I would, I started with Carnival Red and then I thought, eh, I don't want to do Carnival Red. So I went to Kissing Booth and Cake Batter. So that's what we've got going on here, guys. And then, of course, we've got the handy dandy squirt misting bottle because we need that for sure. So it's nice to see you guys. Good morning. Thanks for coming. Um, hi, everyone. Hi, Carrie, Tina, Deb. Awesome. Thanks for coming. Okay. So I kind of like it. I mean, it's looking, looking a little different for sure, but, um, you know, different's good. Good morning. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of keep going. Um, I'm going to try to make it pretty inconsistent with the, with the shading. Ah, you remember birds. <laughs> You'll get some birds sometime soon. Yeah, it's, the weather's picking up around here. It's good. So, anyways, let's go. Too much talking is not good, right? Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and spray this drawer front and get it nice and wet. My screw's still in it from yesterday. Let's get rid of that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm using this small Klingon because it kind of fits in here. Hi, Julie. So let's start like right here. So we just spray a little bit of water to reactivate the paint so that we can blend it in versus sitting it on top of the color underneath. And I'm just going to kind of keep misting it to, um, to keep it moist for me and get it blended in there. I don't really know what I'm doing and I don't even, honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to like it. but. We will find out, won't we? We're just kind of pushing it into those recess areas. Hi, Arlene. Hi, Anita. You guys good, I hope? Everybody's having a good Sunday morning. Just thought I'd do this real quick. We are open on Sundays now, so I have to, we're going over there at 12. But I had time to work on this a little bit. So they would. All right, so I'm going to pick up a little bit of kissing booth, just a little, and um, I'm going to add it in here. So that kissing booth is so bright, it's like, oh, I'm going to do a lot of blending to tone that down and just kind of spread it out. I don't want it to be super pink. And I don't know, like I said, I might even just I don't know if I'm even going to like it, so we'll see what it looks like when we're done. But the more we spread it, it thins it. Keep working it. In. So, do remember, not every idea is a good idea, right? Cake batter and kissing booth. Yes, yes, thank you for answering me. Awesome. And I'm wondering, honestly, if I should get some Queen Bee, because that's actually quite a bit brighter of a yellow, but I'm not sure how bright I want it, so I don't know. Didn't know. I was very tempted to do a lot of metallics on it because of all this stuff, but I just don't know if I'm... Um, I don't know if Albuquerque's ready for metallic yet, you know? Very whimsical. <laughs> Thank you. That's a good word. We're just going to kind of keep blending it in. It's a really nice dresser. So I figure it would be really good for a little girl or, or I don't know, for anyone, I suppose. I don't know. 
know what you guys think look different yeah I'm not sure what I think but we will see so it just look crazy I guess we'll just keep going, right? Like an Easter basket. I don't know. I don't know if I like that, Tina. <laughs> Thank you, but uh, uh, base color is Skeleton Key um, by Debbie's Design Diaries. Yeah. So that was the base that we put on yesterday. I still have my screws in here. Okay, so let's just keep on going and see, right? Always go back and add more color or. We can always cover it up if we want to, right? Doesn't matter. Paint is just paint. So let's put some down here. It's kind of funny. The reason I sprayed this in the first place was because I didn't want to have to paint inside all these things. And here I am painting inside of these things anyway. But Unicorn room. Aw. That's a good idea. So I am just trying to change it up. So now I'm kind of doing yellow on the bottom instead of the kissing booth because I want to... I don't want it to be real uniform and hard in my brain <clears throat> to um, to do that because I tend to want to, you know, make things matchy. But I'm trying to change it up. So let's get some kissing booth, and we're going to go up here this time. You really just work it in there because we don't want it to be too too bright. So I think this um, the skeleton key is kind of toning down and it's mixing so it's almost making like a little bit of a lavender color in some areas which I think might be good again it might not of course because I love my blues I'm so tempted to go get a blue but I'm gonna not I'm refraining from adding any blue in there Alright, so what do we think? We liking it? Is it different? You think some sort of blue too? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of go for it, Sheila. Thanks for coming. Alright, so let's start with pink down here. And yeah, some kind of blue. I wonder what blue. Maybe boho, huh? What do you think? Boho? Tell me, tell me, tell me. The base coat is Skeleton Key Nicole um, by Debbie's Design Diaries also. Aww, there's still snow there, I'm so sorry. Yeah, we're, oh, lots of pink, guys, lots of pink. Let's blend a lot. So yeah, we're warm right now. We'll get cold again. We we're, we're never stay consistent till I don't know, probably like another three weeks and it should just get warm hopefully and stay warm. Well, that was just too darn much pink, guys. try to spread that out because that was a little crazy town on my part. All right, I'm getting down. The sun is out, but it's cold. Oh. 
hopefully we'll be in the 70s today. That's my my hopes. We should be. All right, so we've got that. Let's see if we can, we're gonna add some cake batter now and see if we can get this toned down a little bit. Really just scrubbing it in there. And go over some of that pink. See if we can make orange, right? But that's the cool thing with blending. You can just keep adding until you're, you're good with it, you know? Nothing's permanent. I'm just working it in there really good. So what do we think? Boho? Think we should do a little bit of boho? What do you guys say? And paint with boho. But the color is winged. Yeah. Late to the party. But here, hi Catherine. Okay. So I'm gonna get a little boho, guys. It's just right here. Hold on. be a little careful with the boho because again it's like the pink if you grab too much it um it can be overpowering so let me attempt not to grab too much so this is the boho it's like a deep blue teal something i love it so i'm gonna try i'm gonna just i just got a little bit and that's probably even too much so let's just find out what happens here activate that It's definitely a different kind of blending because of all these things, like, like scrubby more than anything. You know, but I like it. You like that? I think it looks good. All right, now we're colorful, huh? I think. Go to looks good addition to this. Awesome. Go to equals bow. That's cool. Thank you. Can you guys see good or should I lower you? I don't know. You tell me. Ooh, that's bohemian blue, Lisa. It's a good color. So I'm, now this is my favorite drawer. So I'm going to go ahead and go back up and we'll add some boho everywhere. And then we'll do this bottom part, okay? Because I think that that's what it needed. So again, I'm just trying to get a tiny bit so that I don't overpower <coughs> because the boho is so strong and dark. And then we gotta remember that yellow and blue makes green, so get a lot of it on that cake powder, we will come up with some kind of green. So 
But just remember when you guys are blending, the misting bottles are, well, in my opinion, they're the best just because it gives you a nice, a nice little squirt without being too heavy. And um, just keep, you know, keep getting it wet. So a lot of times, I know um, this comes up on, in, on when you're blending, I'm getting all the way down to the wood and yeah, it does happen. So I don't know if you can see, but like right here, I hit wood. Um, yes, it's just water in the sprayer, Laurie. Um, yeah, just regular tap water. So I did hit all the way down to the wood here because I am scrubbing so hard, but it's, it's okay. I think I, you know, it's, I'm, I'm cool with it. It doesn't bother me. So let's go ahead and put some right here this time. bit more. Okay. All right, so up to the top. You guys like it? I totally forgot to get the mister when I went to your shop. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good, Arlie. Um, thank you guys for answering questions. It looks like you guys are doing that for me. I appreciate it. Okay, so. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, so this is Debbie's Design Diaries. If any of you guys are interested in trying out this awesome clay paint um i do have an affiliate link so if you go to my if you go to my page and you hit the shop now button it'll take you to my my affiliate link and i do get a little bit of credit for that so if you want to buy it that's an awesome way to go about it and this you know this video is not about selling the paint that's not what i'm doing but um always nice if you do want to try it to you know to get it from somebody that you love i love you hi kelly how are you thanks for coming so i think i'm going to put a little bit more up here blend that and kind of scrubbing to get these two to blend together and to mute it a little bit. I'm not too crazy. This is fun. I haven't been able to blend color in such a long time. It feels a little free. So let's see what it looks like. I'm going to get back here with you guys. I don't know. You like it? I think it looks kind of cool. Thanks, Kelly. You love it? Awesome. But everyone share this video. Thanks, Julie. You guys are awesome. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, shares are great. And Facebook likes it when we share, then they're like, hey, people actually like this girl. <laughs> Maybe we'll share too. So that's cool. Okay, so now we're gonna go down to the bottom. So I think I'm cool with that. You guys, I think it looks okay. It looks a little crazy on the camera, but it looks better here. When you, have you ever, wait, when you sell a piece, have you, you have painted, do you put anything in the drawers like paper? Only if it's really gross. Um, ah, thanks, Nicole. No, yeah, if they're really bad, I'll, I'll um, paint the inside of the drawers. Sometimes paper, but honestly, cutting paper is really not my, <laughs> I don't have a lot of patience. So I'd rather just paint it um, if it's, if it's like really stained, but. Um, most of the time, you know, they're not too, too bad. You can just clean them. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Julie. <laughs> you guys are funny. Okay. 
So let's start with some kissing booth down here and then we'll do some yellow and then we'll do some blue. I'm going back down. Okay. So let's get it wet. And um, let's see. So we've got pink over here, pink over there, pink, pink over there. Let's do pink over here again. And yes, I got too much on my brush again. Oh well, let's blend it. Okay, so I'm gonna get some cake batter. And let's go right here. So if we wanted this a little brighter, we could have used Queen Bee. Really wasn't trying to make it too bright, so that's why I kept refraining from grabbing it. My brain likes color, so it really wanted to do that, but I don't know how much my customers like color. <laughs> Just because I do doesn't mean everybody does. Let's see, how long have you been painting furniture? Um, I, I, I guess about two years, probably. Um, I started out just painting, definitely painting solid colors, um, which I think everybody does. Um, I was always attracted to colors, for sure. So I did a lot of like reds and blues and um, turquoise, of course. Turquoise sells good here. And, um, and then since I've picked up Debbie's Design Diaries, um, the DIY paint, I started definitely blending more color. Um, found out about Dion and then before she was a retailer, you know, and started watching her stuff and kind of fell in love and I was like, oh, I got to try that. And then, uh, yeah, that's just kind of led to, to doing more and more. And then I fell in love with just blending and trying to come up with cool, unique stuff and you just got to kind of tone it down sometimes because not the general public doesn't, you know, anyways, okay. I'm gonna lower you down. You need some DIY paint. You do, Julie. It's awesome. Can't, can't go wrong. Let's drop you guys down. Thanks, Debbie. Hi, nice to see you. So that is interesting. So Debbie is from Europe. I forget what part of Europe, but she was telling me the other day that since I haven't been doing so many lives lately, um, she's not seeing my stuff in her feed. So. That just goes to show like how important it is to want well, to do the lives for one. UK, thank you so much, Debbie. I went blank for a minute. And um, thanks, guys. Um, but how how interesting, you know, that I've been posting a lot more, posting four times a day faithfully, but not doing as many lives. So all of a sudden, somebody like Debbie, who you know is very interactive with my page, and she's so sweet, and but she's not seeing my stuff. So it's weird how Facebook really does have its its algorithms and like you know who they're showing it to so liking and sharing these small businesses that you guys like and we do the same for you of course I know a lot of you are business owners also um, really does it really does matter and make a difference so hey my hands are all right they're not great um, they still they're not perfect by any means they still hurt um, not like they're not numb anymore though, which is great. Um, but they're definitely not as good as I would like them to be. But I think it's arthritis now, honestly. I think that just life is caught up to my little hands, you know? I 
which makes sense. I know I'm not the only one with that problem. And yes, overuse is probably part of it. <laughs> That's just, I don't know how, you know, you gotta, you gotta live, right? Until you can't anymore. Okay, so let's get some yellow in here. Getting a little, a little purple again. Man, if I ever saw this house, I've got some serious work to do on my garage. Oh, thank you, Julie. That's super sweet. I appreciate that. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with some more boho down here on the bottom because it's my new favorite. Just kidding. It's my, it's my always favorite, but I'm going to add more because this is um, a little more pink than I want it to be down here. Let me see what it looks like. Well, it does kind of remind me of an Easter egg. I don't know. How do you choose what to seal it with if I seal it at all? Yeah, wait, I'm gonna seal it. Um, no, you know what, Dan? I used to have a paraffin wax thingy, but I don't anymore. I got rid of it. Um, guess I shouldn't have, huh? I, this one I'm gonna do with wax for sure because I, you know, that way when I do the wax, I can add more um, details to this. I can add some dark in there and um, into those recessed areas. A lot of times, it, it just really depends. Um, I might even just wax the drawers and then seal the rest of it with Big Top. Um, it, it just, how much use is it gonna get? Um, what kind of look are you going for? how much do you want to put into it you know if it's just a solid piece i'll just put a big top on it because it's easier it's faster um and you know why not thank you thanks for sharing guys thank you debbie okay so i think i am gonna leave it alone um because if i do much more to it then we're gonna get too crazy so I'll go back in with some waxes when this is all dry and add a little bit more detail to it. I'm still so tempted to put some metallics on it. Um, I don't know if that's a great idea, but I just might do it because I'm already kind of, you know, it's already kind of bright anyway, so why not, right? But thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome. And if I missed any questions or anything, I will definitely go back and um, look. When I had a paraffin wax dilly, um, my hands weren't really hurting that much. Just do it. You say you think so, Sheila? Okay. All right. Well, you guys are awesome. So the thing that's kind of a bummer about this, let me show you the poles real quick. Um, so this is the hardware for this, um, which, you know, I mean, they're, they're pretty cool. I mean, of course, I'll put them in a different color. But the thing about it <clears throat> is I'm missing two of them. So how on earth am I going to find two of these? Like, that's probably not going to happen. I do have a end table that match, not, yeah, nightstand that matches this. So maybe I'll just pull them off of it. And then, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll pull them off of it, and then I'll find hardware for it. Anyways, but they're kind of cool. <laughs> they're different. So it's, it's a pretty um, bam kind of piece. Anyways, so you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for sharing. And yes, of course, Carrie. Okay. Okay. Um, if I do put metallics on it, I'll share that with you guys. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. I'm off to the store.